Hello everyone. In this short video, I would describe how to quantum compute the ground state energy of a Kagum unit cell with an accuracy in excess of 99% on an IBM Q processor, IBM Q Guadalupe. A 12 side lattice Kagum unit cell has 54 Hamiltonian terms, which should be measured on a circuit, a state preparation circuit such that the average value of those 54 observable observables should be within 1% of the actual ground state energy that's minus 18. The main strategy to achieve a very accurate ground state energy involves the use of what I call truncated N sets. The basic idea is that we can possibly truncate the N set circuits to a sub circuit that is used to measure a given Hamiltonian, Hamiltonian term only. Not all the qubits and gates are involved in the measurement of the given Hamiltonian term. That means we can select a portion of a circuit for our given computation and the measurement of the Hamiltonian term under consideration. And this truncation significantly reduces the size of the circuits and reduces the number of qubits involved, especially the number of C nodes and the number of readouts. Consequently, the smaller Hilbert space that we work with has proportionally lower noise. The other part of the strategy was to combine the exponential fit with the zero noise extrapolation noise mitigation scheme. The exponential fit helps push down the value of the mean value for, of an observable y, which in our case is the ground state energy. And it is more realistic because under complete depolarization, the mean value of an observable should approach zero. This is in contrast with the case of polynomial fit, as shown here as a linear curve fit function, which tend to extrapolate y to a higher value and in this case it doesn't really ensure that y approaches zero under complete depolarization and instead what we see here is that y may grow with the opposite sign and i should point out that the exponential fit was re really critical to further lower the ground state energy closer to the correct value so in order to summarize the important components of the solution, first, N sets. I have used ring N sets, which will be discussed in the next few slides, that conveniently maps to the IBM Q Guadalupe heavy hex architecture and also to the topology of the Kagum lattice unit cell. The circuit has 48 parameters and it attains the ground state energy exactly minus 18 under noiseless condition by running the variational quantum eigensolver. On the real hardware, however, the relative error is one per, is in excess of 1%. An optimized version of ANSETs, the truncated ring ANSETs, the defining advantage of this ANSETs is that it helps attain relative error which is less than 1% and that will be discussed in the next few slides as well. NFT is the optimizer and it converges to the, to, to, to the lowest ground state energy value that's minus 18 within 300 iteration that's maximum iteration parameter and on the real IBM Q Guadalupe chip 2000 shorts are sufficient. We can achieve a more stable convergence when the optimizer NFT execution uh, once complete is followed by the gradient descent. The noise mitigation scheme is the zero noise extrapolation with a global folding amplifier combined with the exponential fit. Summarizing the performance comparison between the two types of ANSETs, I should point out that I found it much easier 
to run ring and sets the untruncated version with the custom view QE function provided by the IBM, IBM Q code template. However, the relative error was in excess of 1%. By contrast, the truncated ring and sets was run with a custom estimator TRA function that is specifically designed to run with the circuit runner in order to uh, circumvent lengthy queues of the Quisket estimator. That was able to achieve minus 17.96 value of the ground state energy, which is within 1% relative error. And the second and the corresponding row shows the corresponding job IDs for your reference. So the ring and set a circuit is shown here. The basic idea is to make a ring of non-commuting C nodes like this. And in terms of its performance, as already indicated, here's the convergence graph, starting with the random parameter values. When the convergence occurs, the optimal parameter values are given over here as well. The if we want to achieve more stable conversion, that's the point beyond 400 iterations, you can apply gradient descent. On the real hardware, as shown here, the number of shots for 1000 or the 2000 will also be sufficient, but for some reason, the QSKID VQE function, uh, custom VQE function, uh, reverts the number of shots to 4,000 is like a default minimum default value it looks like the case and the other experimental setup extrapolation exponential uh, global folding amplifier I was able to obtain around minus 17.17 with the help of ring and status again uh, the main idea shown here is that we will always um, we will actually customize circuits for each Hamiltonian term. So there are, if there are 54 terms, then there are going to be 54 different truncated and status circuits. And as I, here's an example of the trunca truncated ring and status circuits derived from the untruncated version if you wish to measure a Hamiltonian term Z11, Z14. Hence, in this case, we shall delete the part of the circuit which does not contribute or does not affect the measurement of the Hamiltonian term uh, sufficiently reducing the size of the circuit as well as the size of the Hilbert space. And it turns out that the truncated ring status tend to half the number of the C nodes and also the number of measurements are only two per circuit. By comparison, the performance of the truncator ring ansets is much better. You can see on the graph shown on the left that the valleys are much closer to the target value of the ground state energy. The experimental settings are the same as those in the case of the untruncated ring ansets. However, in this case, the relative error is less than 1%. At this point, I should remind that because these, this graph was obtained by 16 iterations of the NFT optimizer, those were run as circuit runner jobs, whose IDs are shown over here for your reference. The proposed ring ansets accurately mirrors the topology of cocoon unit cells. So if we loop around the lattice sites and make a complete loop around the unit cell, we can see that in the circuit shown on the left, the C nodes constituting the ring and set circuits also make a ring or a loop. And at the same time, these ANSATs also map to the heavy hex architecture of the Guadalupe chip and of several other IBM Q quantum, quantum devices, which are different versions um, and expanded versions of the heavy hex architectures.
Finally, I would like to show the scalability of ring ansatz for the calculation of ground state energy for the larger lattice. So in this case, the diagram on the right shows two Kagum unit cell lattice. And what's interesting is that the circuit shown on the left can be split into two parts. The upper part maps to the left unit cell, which can be separately optimized with the pre-calculated optimal parameter values as discussed before. The other half of the circuit, the lower half, maps to the Kagum unit cell shown part of the Kagum unit cell on the right, whose parameters can be separately learned and optimized. And as a result, I was able to attain the ground state energy, minus 27.23, which is not too far away from the target value. However, the relative error is slightly higher, which I believe can be reduced to an acceptable limit uh, as part of my future research work. The corresponding values of the optimal, the corresponding optimal parameter values of the lower half of the circuits are shown here. And here is the corresponding convergence plot as obtained by the simulated variational quantum eigensolver available in the QSCAD library. With that, I would like to conclude my presentation. Hopefully, you were able to learn a thing or two about the accurate quantum computation of the ground state energy of Kagum unit cells, some techniques of error mitigation and designing low noise and set circuits. You can always drop me an email shown here and I wish you best of luck and have a nice day. Thank you.